How you guys doing? Big Dave Potsky Outdoors. Gonna give you guys a little egg carrying lesson here. Um, so I've got some skeins here, and the first thing I'm gonna do when I start out, um, once I get them out of the fish, I'm gonna try to start breaking this membrane apart so I can get these folds out. Now, you know, a lot of times, you know, guys will butterfly them and cut them with a knife. Well, what happens then too is you're popping a lot of eggs and they're, you know, you're kind of wasting them a little bit. So I kind of just separate them like this. Because when I start to put my cure in, I want to get it in between all these folds. So then it gets real opened up so I can get that cure in between each of these flaps. I just kind of manipulate them and I just kind of break that skein open. And these are going to be a, a dry cure that we're going to do. Um, with the dry cure, uh, you know, your eggs will last a little bit longer. They'll stay on the hook a little longer. Um, if you're fishing in, you know, a hole where you're just consistently going over salmon, um, these are great. These are great because you'll you'll just be able to keep that bait on for a long time. Okay, so we got them opened up now. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to go with the firepower. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of work it in between. We're not going to put a ton on. Not like that. A nice, nice little sprinkle, nice little coating. Just like you were gonna salt your baked potato there. Okay, just kind of work them through. Okay, and you know, the firepower, all this is is krill. You know, a krill is one of their main food sources out in the ocean. So they definitely like the krill. Get her all mixed in there. And I put the krill on first. Um, you know, next I'm gonna go with the with the cure, but a lot of times I think that when you when you get this on first, the, the cure helps penetrate the egg with the krill. So you're 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 getting the you're getting the cure on top that's pushing that krill into that egg and into that membrane. In those folds. All right, that's a good amount there. Okay, we're gonna add our fire cure now. And you guys remember when you're adding your fire power, that is not a cure. That is just a scent. That is just a scent and it's definitely a great thing to add. Okay, so now we're going into our fire cure and we're running red. Okay, same thing. We're just gonna kinda get some in between the folds. Okay. Kind of open those up and red, you know, I always change up my colors and I'll have different colors of eggs, but red is definitely my number one color. Um, red eggs always seem to work, but you know, it's always a good idea to have some other colors, um, cure them up a different way. Sometimes the fish, you know, it'll, the bite will change from one day to the other of what they're after. Okay, we'll get this big one in. And you know, the way that we're gonna do these here in a second, we're gonna wrap these up. And um, it does definitely help this penetrate, help this cure penetrate. Just go in between these folds. There we go. All right, that's a fair amount. Looks like we've got them all pretty red. Okay, now we're gonna do some boraxifier. The nice thing about this boraxifier too is it, it, it cures the egg, but it also seems to just give it, it makes them real tacky. Um, you, get a, you get a firmer egg with them, but yet it's, it's still soft. It's still soft, and I think this helps um, with keeping them that real nice consistency. And again, we're using red. And you know, some people look at this at the store and it looks purple, but it's red. Once you put it on the eggs, um, it will, it really turns red. It turns red. Okay, now we're gonna add some sugar. And I can tell you, steelhead and salmon definitely have a sweet tooth. They like some sugar. Um, you know, the Potskis used to actually put more sugar in their cures, but they were having a, a problem with them. It was making the cure harden up. So they actually had to take some sugar out. Um, so you definitely want to add a little bit of sugar into your eggs. They do have a sweet tooth. And this also will make them a little bit more gummy. 
Um, this will this will make them a little bit more gummy, a little bit more soft. Okay, so now we're pretty good on that. Now I'm just gonna kind of roll them over a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit on this backside of this skein. Now when I roll these things into the towel, they're gonna be touching cure on both sides. But I'm gonna give them just a little splash on that skein. Just a little bit. And probably a little bit more of the borax of fire than the cure. Okay. We're just gonna rub it in a little bit there. Okay. All right, now, just gonna spread them out a little bit. Okay, make sure they're kinda opened up. Now we're gonna roll this in, just like a big burrito here. Okay. Here we go. Fold those ends in a little bit. This is a big wad. Okay, now what that's gonna do is that that cure in there is gonna, it's really gonna help it soak in and you'll, it, it really cures it up nice. You'll be real surprised how these things will, will look when you pull them out. So then, get them in there like that. And get you a Ziploc. Okay, right into a Ziploc bag. And I'll let these things sit for probably, I'll, you know, I always want to open them up and see what they look like after a few days, but you know, a good, a good two days and they're, they're done. And you can store them like this for quite a while too. Or freeze them even. Okay, and that's it. So you get them all sealed up like that, and that's what you're looking like. And that is what they will look like when you're done, right there. You can kind of see, you know, they're not they're not like super wet. I mean, even when I press them on this paper towel, they're not leaving much behind. But you can see just how they, they look like they're wet, but just real gooey. But they, they're pretty tough. I mean, I can take this, and I'm pulling pretty good on it there, and it's not ripping. Um, great egg. Red's always good. This is a great, great rig for fall Chinook. Hotski products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.